were to investigate the days that there weren't parties. <laughs> <laughs> The terms of reference set out that where there are credible allegations relating to other gatherings, uh, it is open for those to be investigated. And I can confirm to the House, Mr Speaker, that this includes the allegations relating to the 15th and 20th of May 2020. Uh, it will establish the facts, uh, and if wrongdoing is established, there will be requisite disciplinary action taken. As with all internal investigations, if evidence emerges of what was potentially a criminal offence, the matter would be referred to the Metropolitan Police, and the Cabinet Office's work may be paused. I received an email this morning from a man called John, who told me on the 20th of May 2020, I found my long-time partner dead on the bathroom floor. I'd been unable to get a GP visit for her and she had suffered terribly for some time before the blood clot stopped her heart. That day, the House heard from the Prime Minister himself that 181 NHS workers and 131 social care staff had died. Many people made huge personal sacrifices. And the Minister, quite frankly, hides behind the grey investigation. There's no need for an investigation into the simple, central question today. Did the Prime Minister attend the event in the Downing Street Garden on the 20th of May 2020? I, I have sympathy for the Minister because he's been sent with his gatherings excuse to defend the utterly indefensible. We know, do we not, Mr Speaker, that an invite to a bring-your-own-booze party was sent out for the 20th of May when 268 people died in hospital on that day. We know that it was illegal to meet anyone outside of your own household except one person overnight. So what is there to wait for? The Prime Minister should come here now, yes. fess up and tell us what happened. Yes.